Hello friends, today we'll be learning how we can uh, deploy Directus 9, which is the recent version, on our uh, Docker and then potentially push it to, um, you know, any any cloud platform like uh, DigitalOcean or uh, Google Cloud uh, or Azure. All right, so let's first get started and learn how we can Dockerize Directus um, on our local machine. Okay, right, so let's get started. I love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. So, the first thing first is we have to go to the documentation here. I'm getting started. And then obviously because we are doing it self-hosted we have to go to the installation and then click on the docker here you can see that they uh, have mentioned that you have uh, different uh, docker uh, images available um, and then you can easily run it following these commands what i found personally is these are not that easy to replicate on your local machine and that's why uh, from my previous videos if you remember I always want to create it in a structured format so that I can reuse it all the time so in order to do that I have done it manually so the first thing is you just have to create uh, npm uh, you know uh, package.json file in a folder and then add directors start into your uh, package.json file under the script and then you have to run the np install directors so i have already done that as you can see uh, what i have done is i have created a src folder i have nothing inside it as you can see there's no node modules here i have just extension and uploads a folder and then i have the package.json folder everything else you can ignore for now um, and then outside if you see i have a docker file here and then this extension folders if you in future want to create some extensions and you want to just uh, keep publishing it on your uh, directors uh, instance so that's why the structure is very important for um, your application and that's why i've created it so okay so right now i'm inside the directors folder which is the parent folder so let me go inside the src here we go and then i'm going to run npm install directors now remember this will uh, install the directors with the help of package.json file uh, and then it will be um, running on your local machine but as it says here after running npm install directors you have to do npm directors bootstrap what does what this does is it installs all the required database tables in your database and then it uh, creates those configuration and environment files and then you can run the npm run start now i have already done it a couple of times the npm uh, bootstrapping bit which is the npx directors bootstrap so i already got a database created uh, one thing i would like to share is i i am using a cloud sql on DigitalOcean, and i have added these um, mysql credentials in the environment file uh, before installing it so you can do that too so let me run this like this uh well you know what because we are doing it in a docker file so let me first go outside of this folder okay clear this so now our um directors is installed as you can see the node modules is here and the environment file is here now let's have a look at the docker file we created we are pulling the latest node um version then we are defining uh, the work directory as app and then we are copying the package.json into the app directory for the docker and uh, i am also copying my gcp cloud storage json file inside the app because i want to store the files on um, cloud storage but you can skip it if you want then i'm running the npm install to the production and then i'm exposing it to 8080 on the docker okay so 
I have created this file also so let me create this so let me show you first that on my docker there's no containers running and there's no image for um, this particular uh, docker so let me run this and this will create an image and there we go it's done and then I will run this image here to get it up and running there you go perfect simple and easy now I will go back to my docker and I see that my image is created and it is in use and in the container also I have a container running so when I click here it will load up my admin panel there you go and because I was I already had created the bootstrap tables uh, and logged in it before that's why it's easier to log in also so there you go I am logged in into my uh, instance so here it is simple and easy this is how you dockerize your directors uh, instance on your local machine now in the second next video you'll be seeing how you can publish this docker image on DigitalOcean and on GCP okay so yeah if you like my video give me a thumbs up and if you have any questions just uh, put it in the comments thanks bye bye